Ever felt like your bathroom breaks are more of a battle than a breezy escape? You're not alone. So many people struggle with this, and it's not something we often talk about openly. But let's be real, folks. Pooping is a natural, essential part of life. And a healthy poop can tell you a lot about what's going on inside. Let's talk about something that's often, uh, number two on our to-do list. Pooping. Yep, we're going there. From diet and hydration to stress and even the way you sit on the throne, there are a lot of factors that can influence your digestive flow. So, let's get down to business and learn how to make your bathroom breaks a breeze. Alright, let's start with the basics. Water. It's the essence of life, the elixir that keeps everything running smoothly. You know I preach about hydration all the time, and for good reason. Staying hydrated is crucial for your overall health and well-being. Water isn't just for fish, it's your body's secret weapon for staying awesome. It helps regulate your temperature, keeps your joints lubricated, and transports nutrients to give you energy. Think of it this way, imagine your body as a juicy, delicious watermelon. Just like a watermelon needs water to stay plump and tasty, your body needs water to function at its best. To keep that melon fresh and fabulous, you gotta hydrate. Drinking enough water helps maintain your skin's elasticity and keeps you looking youthful. The same goes for your digestive system. Water aids in breaking down food so your body can absorb the nutrients more effectively. Water helps to soften your stool, making it easier to pass, if you know what I mean. It keeps things moving smoothly in your digestive tract. When you're dehydrated, your body holds on to every last drop of water it can get, even the water in your colon. This can make you feel sluggish and tired. This can lead to, you guessed it, constipation. And nobody wants that. So how much water should you be drinking? Aim for at least eight glasses a day, and even more if you're active or live in a warm climate. Staying hydrated is especially important when you're sweating a lot. Always have water on hand during workouts or outdoor activities. Keep a water bottle handy and sip on it regularly. Make it a habit to drink water throughout the day. Drink up and let that water work its magic. Your body will thank you for it. Next up, let's talk about fiber. Now I know what you're thinking. Fiber? That's boring. But trust me on this one, folks. Fiber is the unsung hero of your digestive system. It's like the lubricant that keeps things moving smoothly. Think of fiber like a broom that sweeps through your intestines, collecting all the waste and toxins along the way. It adds bulk to your stool, making it easier to pass and preventing those dreaded constipation episodes. So, how do you get more fiber in your diet? Load up on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes. Remember, a high-fiber diet is a happy gut's best friend. Embrace the power of fiber and get ready for some seriously smooth moves in the bathroom. All right, let's talk about something we all deal with. Stress. It's that nagging feeling that creeps up on us when we least expect it. You know that feeling when you've got a million things on your mind and you just want to scream into a pillow? Yeah, we've all been there. Yeah, that's stress. And it's not just bad for your mental health. It can wreak havoc on your gut, too. Your stomach starts to churn and you feel that knot tightening. Think about it. When you're stressed, your body goes into fight or flight mode, diverting blood flow away from your digestive system and towards your muscles. It's like your body is preparing for battle. This can slow down digestion, leading to constipation, bloating, and other digestive discomforts. It's a vicious cycle that can be hard to break. So, what can you do about it? Identify your stressors and find healthy ways to cope. Maybe start by jotting down your thoughts in a journal or talking to a therapist. Incorporate relaxation techniques into your daily routine like meditation, deep breathing exercises, or yoga. These practices can help calm your mind and body. Remember, your gut is directly connected to your brain, 
so taking care of your mental health is crucial for a healthy digestive system. A calm mind leads to a happy gut. Chill out, dude. Your gut will thank you for it. So take a deep breath, relax, and let go of that stress. Next up is Squat to Conquer. Okay, this next tip might sound a little weird, but trust me, it works. We're talking about the power of squatting. You see, the way we sit on modern toilets isn't exactly natural. When you sit on a toilet, your puborectalis muscle, which acts like a sling around your rectum, isn't fully relaxed. This can make it harder to poop, leading to straining and discomfort. But when you squat, it straightens out your colon, making it easier for things to pass through. A simple footstool can do the trick. By elevating your feet with a small footstool while sitting on the toilet, you're mimicking the squatting position. Embrace the squat. Your colon will thank you for it. Now let's talk coffee. Let's be honest, who doesn't love a good cup of coffee in the morning? Well, I've got some good news for you coffee lovers out there. Your morning cup of joe might actually be helping you poop. The caffeine in coffee acts as a gentle stimulant, potentially triggering contractions in your colon that can help get things moving. But remember, moderation is key. Too much coffee can actually have the opposite effect, leading to dehydration and constipation. Stick to one or two cups a day and make sure you're drinking plenty of water throughout the day to stay hydrated. Enjoy that morning cup of joe. Your gut might just thank you for it. Do you believe that slow and steady wins the race? All right, let's talk about something we were all taught as kids. Chewing our food. Chewing your food thoroughly is more than just good manners. It's a digestive superpower. When you chew your food properly, you're breaking it down into smaller, more manageable pieces, making it easier for your digestive system to process. Think of it this way. Your stomach doesn't have teeth. It relies on you to do the initial breakdown of your food. When you swallow large chunks of food, it puts more strain on your digestive system, leading to indigestion, bloating, and even constipation. So chew on, my friends. Chew on. All right, let's get moving. Exercise isn't just good for your heart, lungs, and muscles. It's like a magic potion for your gut health, too. When you exercise, you're increasing blood flow to all of your organs, including your digestive system. This helps to stimulate your digestive muscles, helping things move along smoothly. And the best part? You don't need to run a marathon or lift heavy weights to reap the digestive benefits of exercise. Even moderate activity, like brisk walking, swimming, or dancing, can make a big difference. Find an activity you enjoy and make it a part of your regular routine. So put on your sneakers, crank up the tunes, and get your groove on. Your gut will thank you for it. Ready for something unusual? Okay, this next tip might sound a little strange, but hear me out, belly rubs. No, seriously, giving yourself a gentle belly massage can actually work wonders for your digestion. When you massage your belly, you're helping to stimulate your digestive organs, relieve bloating, and promote relaxation. So how do you give yourself a proper belly rub? It's simple. Start by lying down on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor. Warm up a little oil in your hands, like coconut oil or almond oil, and gently rub it onto your stomach in a clockwise motion. So next time you're feeling a little backed up or bloated, give yourself a belly rub. Your gut will thank you for it. Time to feed your friendly bacteria. Did you know that you have trillions of bacteria living in your gut? These tiny organisms are essential for your well-being. Don't worry, it's a good thing. These bacteria are your allies in maintaining good health. These friendly bacteria, known as your gut microbiome, play a crucial role in your overall health, including your digestion, immune system, and even your mood. Think of your gut microbiome like a garden. 
it needs care and attention to flourish. Just like a garden needs a variety of plants to thrive, your gut needs a diverse range of bacteria to function optimally. Diversity is key. Prebiotics are like fertilizer for your good bacteria. They're found in foods like bananas, onions, garlic, and asparagus. These foods help your gut bacteria grow and thrive. Probiotics, on the other hand, are live bacteria that add to the diversity of your gut microbiome. They are essential for maintaining a balanced gut. You can find them in fermented foods like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, and kimchi. These foods introduce beneficial bacteria into your system. Incorporate a variety of probiotic-rich foods and prebiotic-packed produce into your diet to nourish your beneficial bacteria and keep your gut microbiome happy and healthy. A balanced diet is the key to a thriving gut. Last, but definitely not the least, let's talk about the importance of sleep. You know that feeling when you're well-rested and you just feel like you can conquer the world? Yeah, sleep does that. And it's not just good for your energy levels and mood, it's crucial for your gut health too. When you sleep, your body goes into repair and restoration mode, and that includes your digestive system. Adequate sleep helps regulate your digestive hormones, ensuring optimal digestion and bowel regularity. So catch those sleep and wake up feeling refreshed, energized, and ready to conquer your day and your next bathroom break. That's a wrap. Keep it moving. And there you have it, folks. A truckload of tips to keep your digestive system running smoother than a well-oiled machine. We've covered everything from hydration to fiber, stress management to squatting like a pro. Remember, a healthy gut is the foundation of a healthy life. Listen to your body, pay attention to the signals it's sending you, and don't be afraid to seek professional help if you're struggling. But wait, there's more. We've been talking about fueling your body with the good stuff, but what happens when you unleash a sugar tsunami on your system? Get ready for a wild ride as we dive into the sweet and sticky world of sugar addiction. In our next video, we'll spill the tea, or should we say, sugar, on what happens when you overdo it on the sweet stuff. If you found this video mildly entertaining or informative, consider hitting that like button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe? We promise more mind-blowing, or at least mildly interesting, health tips coming your way.